<laughs> He's been following me around trying to kill my chicken. That is very rude. Very rude. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see you again today. So I am back in Stag Tree Valley, just trying to prepare for my imminent move. And I decided that I want to go ahead and put Venture in the trailer and take you over to see Crystal River Ranch. We finally finished it. It's our breeding ranch. So I want to be able to show you kind of what we've done and then also just show more of the server. We're hoping to open on Friday, which is really exciting. So just a little tour I think would be a good idea. Before we get started though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. All right, let's go. So I've gotten some progress done here. Got my little path going to my house. I still have a lot of work to do. I feel like I say that in every one of my videos, but doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> Good morning, horses. I left magic out with those guys. So I did bring over Sky and I did bring over Winnie. So it's a slow process, slowly bringing horses over. Good morning, magic. And unfortunately, Jeff too, I don't know where he went. <laughs> I'm so sad about poor Jeff too. And there's my horse trailer. I'll just give you guys a peek inside real fast. Got myself a little tack area, a place for feed and stuff like that. And then back here, it's just a two horse trailer. It's nothing super fancy. There's a really nice trailer at Crystal River, which makes sense because it is filled with the best performance horses on the server. So, you know, they need a big trailer. Excuse me, sir, why are you hiding in the bushes? Very sus. Don't appreciate it. Okay, so still the only horse in here at the moment is Venture. And she's probably hungry. Hey, girl. Hi. You want to get in the trailer? Okay, let's get you some breakfast because I know you're probably hungry. Gotta feed the other horses too. Let's see. I think six bales should be good. All right, Venture, here's your breakfast. Are you gonna eat? Yeah, you were hungry, huh? I gotta get grain, too. And her stall is a bit of a mess, so I might as well get the pitchfork and clean up while I'm at it. Let's see. Uh, pitchfork, and then we need to get some grain. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you guys, was that chicken there a second ago? I swear I didn't see it standing there. It looks just like Rockstar, the same comb. I wonder if one of my staff found this and brought it here. Oh my gosh, whoever did that, thank you so much. Oh, this is definitely gonna be the first one in my coop. How cute. But seriously, was it standing there? <laughs> now I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind. Wow. And Fincher, this is a very strange place to poop. Go ahead and finish your food. I'm gonna get this cleaned up. And while you finish, I'm gonna go deal with everybody else. Okay, I haven't cleaned this paddock in a few days and it shows. <laughs> oh, it's quite messy. I guess while I'm doing this, I can show you something pretty cool. So on this new server, we're gonna have quests. If you've ever been on the Swim VIP server, they have kind of the same system. And I thought it made it the gameplay so much more interesting. So I did a lot of research and with the help of my awesome admins, we all came up with some quests for you guys. It's so fun. So for this poop, for example, if I go to my quest book and it shows complete for me because I've been doing a lot of testing, but under repeatable quests under horse care, if you pick up 100 horse poos, you'll get 50 dream bucks. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but believe it or not, the horses poop a lot. So you're going to come by poop pretty often. Not to mention, if you pick up poop around the different cities or on the trails and stuff, you can also turn those in for extra rewards. So yeah, it just kind of makes things more interesting. Once I get over to Crystal River, I'll show you what I mean. There's going to be horses there too, and they need people to clean up after them. So if players do it, they can be rewarded. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. There we go. That'll give us some compost. All right, awesome. Now I think Venture's probably done eating, so we can go ahead and go grab her and load her up on the trailer. 
All right, Venture, are you ready to go? Oh, she's just now eating her grain. Good girl, that's good, huh? All right, where did I put your lead? Oh, it's right here. Chicken, you are so cute. Okay, come on. And there's more food for her in the trailer as well, so take you out there and get you ready to go. So obviously I made my trailer with, you know, the JD colors, kind of that purple and pink. All right, you hang out right here for a minute. I'm gonna come in here, put this back and grab some of her tack. So I am gonna take the English, which is all I have in here at the moment anyway. And I'll go ahead and take her blanket too. All right, come on, Archie. I'm gonna lock up the barn. All right, you'll have to find your own way out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you should have came out the easy way, huh? All right, let's get up here and go ahead. Whoops. Our stuff, get it ready. And then for her to travel, I'm going to put some of these on her. And I think I'll probably go ahead and put on her blanket as well. There you go. You're ready to go. Okay, she's usually pretty good about loading, but we'll see how it goes. We're going to go to Crystal River, okay? Maybe practice some jumps while we're there. Come on up. Good girl. Come on. All the way in, Venture. Come on. Take your time. It's okay. <laughs> Slowly creeping forward. That's a good girl. Thank you, Archie, for the help. <laughs> good job. Now I got to squeeze past you. You ready? Okay. She looks ready. Nice and snuggled in there. Won't be a long ride, okay? All right, let's go ahead and go. Okay, we made it safe and sound. There's quite a few other trailers here, but I found a pretty nice little spot for us. Hey, Venture. How was the ride? It looks pretty calm. Good girl. Go ahead and get her out. Okay, come on, pretty girl. Need to get out of here. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> that was quite the leap. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and brush her and tack her up so that we can actually go right around to check out the area. Actually, you know what? I should bring her on the other side. Because that's where the door is and it makes a lot more sense. Archie has already just ran off. I don't know what he's up to. Okay, let's make sure you're nice and clean. Take these off, and these off. Give you a nice brush. Good girl. Oh, forgot my girth. That wouldn't be good, would it? Okay, and here is the girth strap. Hey, okay, perfect. You're ready. Your bridle. Right, let's go ride around. Guess I should close my door though, huh? So this is Crystal River and it is our breeding ranch because the way breeding is going to work on this server is quite different from 116. What you're gonna have to do is right up to this guy right here. Eggman. No, wait. Sorry, it's Breedman. <laughs> and he will actually sell to you breeding tokens. Yes, they're expensive. And they're expensive for a reason. Don't worry, there's lots of ways to make money, so it won't be too difficult. It'll just take some time. So over here, whoops, easy girl. Over here is where our foaling barn is. So all the brood mares with their foals will be in here. And then over this way, the main barn, that's our stud barn. And right over here is the breeding shed. Want to make sure that the horses are as safe as possible during this process. 
it's all padded up and ready to go. And there's a few horses out in the field right now. But not a lot yet. We'll get there. Oh, and that's that big trailer I was telling you about. Isn't that a giant four horse trailer? Nice. Over here, we've got a nice area where people can come to park their horses. And of course, the horses can rehydrate with all this water. And the tools are available. Hopefully, when you're finished using them, you will put them back so that everyone can use them. That way, if the horses need more water, you can use the hose. If they poop, you can clean up with the pitchfork and then just put it back. And this is the jumping arena. So this one is for public use. Anyone can come here and enjoy the jumps however you want. And right next door, we've got the dressage arena. I'm sure we'll hold some competitions here. Try and do a jump real quick. Good girl. Easy, easy. Oh my gosh. She's on fire today. Whoa. Okay. Easy girl. <laughs> Goodness. I went ahead and left Crystal River. It's right there. And we're going to head north toward the crossroads. Is that a chicken? <gasps> oh, that's kind of a cute chicken. Maybe I should collect some animals as I go too. Come here, chicken. You want to come home with me? Oh, come here. Sit on venture. We're going to go for a ride. <laughs> so if you notice at the top of my screen, I'm at level 11 explorer. Gave me experience points. Simply for just running around, I'm making money. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. You can pick up jobs and make money. And it's so easy. Just uncovering the map, moving around as the explorer, you're just going to make cash. So that's just one example of things you can do. Oh, goodness, these horses are a mess. See, this is what I'm talking about, too. If you go around and help clean up the area, you can make money just by doing that. And it helps keep everything looking nice. So in the very, very beginning of the server, there is a tutorial with a quiz you have to go through. I don't want to show it to you because I don't want to spoil it. But once you're done with that, you're going to spawn right here. Once you do that, you're going to have these quests. So as you can see, after the tutorial, you're going to get different rewards. So you're going to start tour the crossroads right here. It won't be completed for you. It is for me, obviously, because like I said, I've been messing with it a lot. So the first thing you're going to want to do is visit the feed and tax store and you're going to get seeds as a reward. So this quest has two different parts. First, you're going to visit the feed and tax store. Then you also have to go on the second floor for it to complete. I can kind of give you an example. I'll just reset this for me real quick. So here, whoops, behind me is the feed and tax store. Just tie venture up right here with our chicken going for a ride. And look, here is some more poop you can clean up for rewards. Right here on the right, I have that quest pinned. I have 44 poos right now. So if I pick this one up, now I have 45 and I did not mean to destroy that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so watch as I walk in here. The quest is going to complete up there. See? So that's visit the feed and tax store. Half of it is complete, however, because if you look, I still need to do this. So I can't get my rewards yet because I haven't completed the second part of the quest. So to do that, oh, look, here's the stairs. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, that's it. I completed that quest now. This is just to kind of help you guys to explore and make money. It just makes it a lot more fun this way. But once this quest is complete, you'll just go to it and to get your rewards, you click them. And there we go. Now I have some seeds ready to go to my own farm to plant them and start making my own hay. You can buy hay from here. But, you know, it's pretty expensive. And the horses have to eat every day. And if you've got a lot of horses, it's going to add up. Another really useful... Actually, all the buildings in the crossroads are pretty useful. But another place you're really going to want to keep in mind is the info center. And that is because this place has manuals that are not done yet. I still need to complete them. But there are manuals that you can read to help you understand kind of how things work. So for example, 
Right now I only have the jobs one. But if I purchase this jobs manual, go ahead and open it up real quick. It just kind of explains how to view the available jobs, how to accept a job, how to change jobs, etc. You can have three jobs at a time. These are the different options. So say I'm going to plant those seeds. Well, I'm going to take the farmer job because I'll get paid for creating the farmland and planting the crops. Um, let's say I need some wood to build my house. Well, I'm going to be a woodcutter because every piece of wood I break, I'm going to get paid for it. Or if you want to go into the dungeons and kill mobs, yes, we are going to have dungeons. You can take the hunter job and get paid for killing those monsters. Speaking of which, not only do you get to get the hunter job, but if you go back to the quests and go to the slaying quests, if you slay 100 spiders, you get $150. If you slay 500, you get 750. And it just goes up from there. We're going to have the skeletons, witches, spiders, zombies, ender dragon. <laughs> yes, all of it's going to be here. So, so many fun ways to make money. So many cool adventures you can go on. I'm so excited. It's crazy. I really wasn't planning on having this video be a tutorial on how this works, but I'm so excited about it that I just wanted to share it. I'll show you one more thing before we actually just go out and look around some more. And that's this area here. Because if you notice on the horse care repeatable quest, yes, you can pick up 100 horse poos and you automatically get $50. So they're 50 cents each, essentially. But you can add on to that. Once you have your 100 poos, you can turn in horse poo for a quality bale, which is very useful for your horses, and then 50 more dollars. So you essentially get a dollar per poo. And this is the place you're gonna turn them in. So in the crossroads, you'll just come right here. And adventure, do not wander off on me. You need to hang out. And what is, oh, the fox wants the chicken. <laughs> He's been following me around trying to kill my chicken. That is very rude. Very rude. You come right here, get your poos, and throw them into these hoppers. It's going to slowly count up, and I actually don't have enough poo. So for, for the sake of example, let me just grab some more horse poos here. Well, that completed that part of the quest. So this one's now done. I can go ahead and accept those rewards. And now I can do it again. It restarts. You do it on both sides, it goes a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, and now that's finished. So once I go here and I accept these rewards, it should reset. Yes, and it did. So now, because I already had some in the hopper, I'm back up to seven already. But <laughs> Fox, you are so mean. The poor chicken. If we go back over to the horse trader, which is another thing we're going to have. Horse trader will come by once a week or so and be willing to sell you some horses with different stats or buy horses you no longer want. And that's kind of a, a neat thing that we're doing. Horses are going to be a lot harder to level and a lot harder to come by. So they're going to mean a lot more. I don't know why this is a hole in the ground. But isn't this wagon beautiful? Wick game, a admin for our server built this out of chisels and bits, and it is just so pretty. And these are the horse traders horses. Another cool concept we're doing differently is we're gonna be selling chunks in the game with in-game currency. So at the realtor's office, you'll be able to purchase different tiers of chunks, and that will give you your chunks compared to having to pay on Ko-Fi. Kofi does still give you different benefits, but chunks are no longer one of them. So you can earn all of that in game. Venture just reset. I guess I can't check her stats with the chicken on her. <laughs> well, her water and food are up. She might be okay. Over here, we've got a helmet shop. The helmets are currently bugged. 
they do not keep their dye, which is really sad because when you get them, you can dye them all kinds of colors and they're really pretty. But whenever you pull them into your inventory, it just kind of doesn't stick. <laughs> this mannequin's cute. Okay, so go like this and look, really cute pink riding helmet. All right, I'm going to put it on. And here's where the problem lies. It goes away. <laughs> it's so sad because it would be so super cute to have it, you know, match. But I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it will be fixed soon because that would be really fun. And we have the homestead store, which sells all kinds of furniture and things you'd need for your home. Lots of different stores here to check out. And I guess since this video kind of turned into somewhat of a tour, I might as well... Hold on. Where did Oren place the new stone? Okay, so something different this time around as well. We're going to have different dimensions. So player housing is a totally different dimension from the main map. And this is called the farmlands. And this is actually where people are going to get their plots to live. So this map is completely different and each one of these areas with the little dirt roads coming off are a plot. So for example, this would be a plot and you can come onto the plot and once you claim it, you can do whatever you want with it, <laughs> pretty much. It is important to leave, and oh look it, there's some bison, how cute. So as you claim your land, you want to make sure you're not claiming too close to other people because eventually you can buy more. So you don't want to be cramped. Oh, these two are fighting. Hey, you should play nice. No fighting. <laughs> or maybe they're just mad at me. I don't know. They probably should back off. So let's see what else. Uh, we're going to have a competition area specific for competitions. Again, hoping to reduce lag. Obviously what i don't even know what that is <laughs> obviously it still needs a lot of work this is probably not going to be ready on launch day but that's okay because we have a lot i mean horses aren't even going to be trained yet so competitions are going to be down the road and oh venture is literally in <laughs> in the uh the thing okay so here we are back at crystal river again i was wait a minute Oh no, where's my chicken? Oh, I lost the chicken. I wonder if we can find any other animals I could take home. There's a snail, but I already have a snail. Two snails. I already have snails, or a snail, I guess. A pony. And the other thing we have on the server, obviously, are a lot of wild animals. Of course, I would prefer to keep them wild, but some of them are tameable. So as long as you just don't go crazy overboard, you know, it's okay. I even have my elephant somewhere. <laughs> We're still working on lots of trails for people to go up and down. This main map here, the one with the crossroads, no one's going to be building homes here. This is going to be filled with all kinds of different things. You can see I've laid plans for certain stuff like this I have an idea for what I want and this over here is going to be something else staff all over are building their own towns and cities for shopping and different arenas and stuff like that so there'll still be a lot of stuff to explore and do you just will not be living here so I guess I'm going to head back down to Crystal River again I wish my helmet could be pink. It would be so cute. Oh yeah, by the way, over here in the breeding barn, because this is kind of the only real place where people can come together and actually do anything at the moment. There'll be a lot more, but for now. Over here, we've got a little area where people can come and sit together and eat or talk. A pretty nice view. Just a place to relax in between rides or whatever. Okay, Venture, you ready to go back home? Good girl, you were so good. I am sad we lost our chicken. Poor chicken. 
Go ahead and put my seeds away that I got from my quest. And go ahead and pull these back out. Get her ready for the ride or the the drive, quote unquote, back. Good girl venture. Boots back on so you're safe. And your blanket. Okay, let's get back in the trailer and head back home. Come on. Almost got it. There you go. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you gotta move out of the way. Oof. Okay, it's kind of a tight squeeze. All right, scoot up. That a girl. All right, let's head back home. All right, we just got back, and Venture is grabbing herself a little snack. You're hungry? <laughs> Are you ready to come out now? You're gonna unload yourself? Can let you out in the paddock for a little bit if you want. Come on, let's go. Magic's in there. And your granddaughter. <laughs> I always forget that Venture's a grandma. Come on, why don't you come out here and hang out with everybody for a while? A little bit too hot for that at the moment. Oh, she was thirsty. I'm sorry, poor girl. There we go. More water for you. Hi, Winnie. Let's take this off. And Sky. Come here, pretty girl. You guys have made a mess of this paddock already. Oh, I almost forgot to take off your boots. It's a lot of work when they're actually eating and drinking. And pooping and peeing everywhere. <laughs> I need to build my chicken coop, and I don't know where. Let me fly up in the sky real quick. So if you guys want to help me plot out this area, I would really appreciate it, because it's kind of what I'm working with. I've got my house way up on that hill, and then I kind of extended this paddock to have a smaller one next to it. This is a big empty area. I'm thinking maybe round pen right there. This is not the normal place for my cows. Kind of considering them coming over here. Then I've got a lot of flat land going this way. So yeah, I really don't know where to put much of anything. So if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I'm sorry that it kind of turned into a sort of tutorial kind of thing on the server. I really don't know <laughs> what it was, but... I literally cannot wait to have people come on and we actually get to play together and see if all these mechanics we've been working on actually work. <laughs> Hopefully they will. I appreciate you all so very much. I can't wait to see you in game. Oh, and one more thing to mention about the server, which hopefully will launch this coming Friday. Ko-Fi members will get priority on whitelisting. So if that's something you're interested in, then go ahead and check out the Ko-Fi page. It is down in the description. Again, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And until next time, bye guys.